Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? Hey, I'm a little bit somber today because I'm I'm working through some things and some stuff. But one of the questions came up to me today is if God knows what my past is, what my future is, and what I need in life, why do I need to pray? And that's a very good good question, a very great question. But one that that I'm sad that I was asked and one that that I felt like I needed to talk about and and possibly address. And here's why. The fact is, is that we need to pray. Yes, God knows what, you know, our past is. He knows what our future is. And he absolutely knows the choices and the decisions that we are going to make. However, we are still commanded to pray to God, to, to tell Him what it is we need, and, and ask Him for the things that we need in this, in this world to live. We can't do it without Him, but He wants us to pray and tells us to pray to Him. We, we have things that he will give us when we when we ask for for the things that we need in this life first chronicles 16 11 tells us that look to the lord and his strength seek his face always because when we seek him he will come to us and tell us and give us information and guide us into where we need to be it's it's a struggle i know and if you're dealing with a recovery issue with alcohol, drugs, immorality, you know, lust, pornography, sexual addiction, um, many other issues, please, you know, um, you can message me on Twitter. There's my handle is down scrolling across the bottom. So you can you can come and talk to me and ask me questions, especially if you want confidentiality. I'm very big into confidentiality and anonymity. So if that's what you seek and you want to talk about things, please come and talk to me. I'll be glad to, to speak to you about those things. Uh, Jeremiah 33, 33, we're jumping into the Old Testament for a little bit, says, Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable, unsearchable things you do not know whether that's about him, whether that's about yourself, or whether that's about things that are coming into your future that you don't know. He will help you where he sees that he needs to help you to help to guide you to the right place. But it's important that we pray for each other, with each other, and for the things that we need in this world. Philippians 4, 6 says, don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. If you're an alcoholic or drug addict, it's okay. The, the choices that you've made in your past do not have to be the choices that you've made in your future. If you're addicted to sex or um, any of the pornography industry or immorality or lust or any of those things you don't have to be stuck in that in that mode there's help and god is willingly to, willing to provide it all you have to do is ask he knows what your decision will be but you still need to ask he's requesting us to ask those things first john 5 4, 14 says this is the confidence we have in approaching god that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. So asking him to remove that from your mind, the addiction from your mind, he will do it. But you have to ask. I've heard many a story of, of a guy or even, fem or even women that have been drug addicts or alcoholics or um, been addicted to pornography, gambling, blah, blah, blah. You name the issue. And they said, God, please take this addiction from me. Take it from me. And he did. 
the next day they woke up and they had no taste for their addiction, no want to be. So you can do that too. And if you're in addiction, I ask that you do so and that you pray for it and you pray about it and that you uh, really seek him in those areas. Finally, Luke 18, one says that Jesus, then Jesus told his disciples as a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. We can't give up in this fight of this world. We struggle with the addictions that this world has provided us, telling us that, oh, you can get over, uh, you, you can get over and you can forget about all your past issues. All you got to do is do a little drugs or drink a little alcohol and you'll forget all about it. Well, you forget about it temporarily, and then when you sober back up, it all comes flooding back. So, guys, I'm ladies and gents, I'm telling you that there is a process to relieve yourself of the addictions that you carry around. I ask that you pray for the removal of those addictions from your mind, from your mouth, so that you can move forward. And if you need help and assistance, I ask that you reach out to a recovery program. There are many programs that are in probably in your area, and all you have to do is search for them. Down in the description, I'm going to leave some uh, links to places such as Celebrate Recovery or to uh, other church organizations that can help you in these, in these recovery areas. I myself, as a Celebrate Recovery leader, I'm, I'm partial to celebrate recovery because it helped me see and understand that my issues could be solved, that God could forgive me, and that when I was repentant of what it is that I had done in my past, that God would take me, use me, love me, and show others how through, through his power that he can heal all wounds, no matter how big they are. Guys, I ask that you be blessed tonight, and let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, this evening, this morning, whatever the time period may be, that you be here with the individual watching this right now and praying with us. Lord, I ask that you be with them in whatever their addiction may be, that you remove it from them, and I ask that you pray this with us, that you... Ask for God to remove the addiction from yourself because he can and he will. We must be repentant. And Lord, we ask that you hear our voices, hear our request for forgiveness, and you help us to make amends and ask for forgiveness from those that we've hurt. Lord, everything can be done through you. And through Jesus Christ's holy name, we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope that you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something that you may not have known, or maybe you have known, you just needed reassurance. But I thank you for being here, and I hope that you have a blessed day. We'll see you guys on the next one. Be blessed.